Hey guys and welcome back to the harsh and unforgiving world of Post for Nem, where I've been doing stuff between episodes guys, I have indeed, and one of the things that I've been doing that I told you I would do is this little guy down here, let's do the elytra spin, I'm not actually wearing elytra at the moment, it's just glide, uh, glide wings, uh, but in here you'll notice this guy is all set up and ready to go, and as I say, the dirt around might give a little indication as to what he can do, if we run the uh, Franken program, this guy will now go along and do a whole load of random pathing. Now, his random path is terrible. Every time he turns up somewhere... Excuse me, sorry, didn't mean to get in your way. Every time he turns up somewhere, he does a random path, uh, a random turn in the four directions. Apart from he won't turn backwards. I made it so he won't turn backwards. But yeah, he'll do a random path before checking underneath him. So it can be a little bit erratic, perhaps even chaotic. I'm not sure how efficient it is but i'm saying not at all uh that's not all we've got up to oh no down here you will note that these boxes are very close to full there's these bottom ones down here have everything we need this top one nearly has everything we need i turned all the clay into bricks you can see down here i've got a thousand and up here 999 i had good times outside building a massive pillar up trying to knock it all down by spinning around and i'm surprised that i only managed to lose one to be honest i thought i'd probably lose a lot more uh, another thing that we've got on the go you'll see there's a hopper up here i'm making a gravel by well by the uh the stack load we're, we're getting there very very close by the time all this gets uh, processed through we're actually gonna end up with 30 over or something like that but that's not all we're gonna do today oh no this is gonna make villages by the way if you are joining us at this possibly penultimate episode of the series uh they're gonna go together to make a magic wand which summons the villages it's great so here's the wall of the end game uh we are very close to doing the two villages we have finished the laser drill the farm animals we are very close to doing uh i i i'm trying to decide at the moment whether i'm going to make farm animals or whether i'm actually going to go ahead and set them free so if we have a look in here we've got cows cats um pigs horse sheep dogs and chickens all of which I could very easily just kind of make as many spawning eggs as I can and just go and let them loose in various parts of the world. Uh, maybe pop, pop some uh, auto breeders down with them or something like that. I'm, I'm not sure. But yeah, I think the first thing we're going to do today is try and get these ghast spawners. Alright guys, some of you might remember our trip out to the bunker over here. We had to get a whole load of uh, launch codes and stuff like that. And we found a load of the nests go, uh, just kind of dotted around. These are the ones for the blazes, but we're not here for these. We're here for this thing here. It looks like a cloud when you get close to it. It's actually a blaze spawner. Uh, let's teleport this way and use our... Oh, look, there's a log there. Uh, use our gliding abilities to get us over there. Hopefully, daylight will come and save us from the mobs that are all around on the floor. I am uh, obviously super worried about getting in there. Oh, what, what is this guy over here? He's a bad creeper. Be gone with you. Uh, let's fire him. Ooh. A little bit of lag there. Thankfully, it didn't do me too much bad. All the zombies are headed in. I'm just going to fight here for a couple of seconds. I've, I've got all the, all the good stuff I need to survive. So, I will bring you back when everything is dead. Okay, and that should be the last of them, I hope. Oh, hey, look at you there. Let's, let's get rid of that. So, we want to go in, and I think, once again, we're going to try for the underdig. Uh, I'll try not to, like, lose my orientation this time, so we should be able to get in there and break stuff without dropping it. Oh, there's lava here. This isn't good. Uh, and break stuff without dropping it on the pressure plates that we know are down here. Uh, okay, so we're into stone. The worst thing that could happen now would be uh, silverfish. I mean, could you actually imagine? Now, what's going to happen if I start breaking things around here? I, th I think I'm into the bit that's safe. I I'm super worried about setting off any other uh, pressure plates, but that's this level. Don't what was that? What was that? Did you guys see that? I sure did. Uh, so there's a bit of lapis here. I'm just going to start undermining all the bits. I don't mind if gravel falls on me, as long as it doesn't fall anywhere else. 
it's looking good. Do we break that? I don't know. I'm going to go around and break all these around first. And I think... <gasps> ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. I, I think we're good. I think I've actually managed to uh, mine out my first gas spawner. I should be getting these all with uh, silk touch, shouldn't I? Uh, so let's let's do it. Let's have a look in here. Are we going to break stuff? We're kind of going to have to. Do I have any scrap block? Uh, of course, I've got obsidian. That's not the scrap block of choice, really. I keep seeing... Oh yeah, I, I knew I saw something. There's a little ghost... Ghost... Um, Gast in here. I might have to go out and deal with that. Um, I just want to break the spawner. There we go. Did I get Did I get a broken spawner? Did I? Oh, did I hell? Where, where's the broken spawner? Oh man, I need that. I do kind of need that. Wow. Uh, there are lots of bad guys out there. Let's go out and fight them, shall we? That's kind of going to have to be the way about it. Oh, I, need, I really wanted that broken spawner. I wish I knew what the drop chance was. So we... Oh, okay. Uh, this is going to be interesting. Let's just uh, let bullets fire everywhere. These ones are tough. They are, like, literally tough. Uh, him there, I don't know. We'll have to go and do something about. Oh, man. This is going to be noisy and all sorts. And I can't do anything other than just go around and use all my bullets up. Uh, that was a bad press. I want to try and get him because he's a... Is he a spawner? Is he one that spawns in others? It's, oh man, there's just so many around. So I wasn't expecting this on this trip. I mean, I, it's silly. I should have. It's not like there's no way I could have told. Why can't I hit him? Does he only need? Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Does he only get hit by um, melee? Melee is the word I'm looking for here. Get out of my face. Okay, glad I brought all this healing with me. Oh, let's let's knock one of those back. I didn't get the uh, the broken spawner that I was after. That that leaves me very very sad actually. Oh, here comes another one. I wonder where he came from. I knew I was getting hassled from these guys a lot. Okay, so that's all these. Any more going around here? I can hear one more out there somewhere. But Gars have this weird bug where. Uh, their sounds don't scale with their distance. So they sound really close even though they're far... Oh, you would turn around at that point, wouldn't you? They sound really close even though they're actually really far away. Oh, look, there's another gas spawner over there. Uh, I don't see the actual spawner. This is unfortunate. Okay, that's one down. Let's go and do this other one. Hopefully there'll be, like... Um, as easy access as there was on that one. I kind of see a dip there. I'm not going to go down into these guys yet. As much as I would love to, um, I want to get myself some potions of fire resistance before I go in there because it's all lava and blazes and nasty things that attack you with fire. And I don't really want to face that off like that. Uh, so let's see if we can go in under this way. They're going to start spawning ghasts any second. As long as we can get into a safe zone, we should be all right. Uh, ooh, ooh, block lag is not what I want in this place. What? Already? You want some? Oh, I really hope he didn't blow up anything. <laughs> Could you imagine if I was just kind of digging around and suddenly he blew stuff up? Okay, so this is a, a, a void area? Is this just void? It, it looks like it's just void. So I assume this ooh, is the area we really want. Okay, so I'm at the side of here. If I get down and blow up and break this TNT, that's probably the best way. Look at that graphical glitch. It thinks it's a, uh, a factory block. One of the giant ones with the with the big fans on it. That's crazy. Okay, so things are getting noisy. Uh, we can take that out, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's that's everything taken out now. So let's get up top and break the spawn. Are we, we're going to have to fight. Oh, 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 oh. Well, yeah. That, I suppose that's a thing. I suppose that's a thing. It's still very loud. Um, it's a shame all these ones with high health points are the ones that... Okay, I'm going to have to go underneath. We're going to have to go from underneath. Uh, I tried to go up and fight, like, fairly, uh, like a man, if you will. Let's just break this. Hopefully we get the broken spawner this time. Is there something I'm doing wrong? Is there something I'm doing wrong? Or am I just being very unlucky here? Because, man, I could really do with those broken spawners. Let's... I don't know. How are we going to deal with this? Huh, jump up and down. 
I don't see anything up there. Did you guys see anything up there? Got all the important bits, so let's go out and fight our way to safety. You. Yeah, that's cool. I saw a whole bunch of particle effects just as I was walking out. I wonder what they're about. Oh, these guys take literally 20 odd shots. Uh, these grey guys, though, let's see what we can do about them. I think the re reason the other guys take so many shots is because they're actually resilient to ranged or something like that. That's the impression I get anyway. Fighting. Okay, that was explosions that could have gone worse. Lots of little guys. Ah. Okay, let's try and get these. Oh, I fell. Falling is not good. Falling is not good. How do I get out of here? There's got to, there's got to be a way out before I get swamped. Here we go. All right. Let's just blow a few of them away. Okay, I'm going to have to get into this guy with hand-to-hand, -hand, I think. Yeah, look, you see? Oh, in fact, it's not even hand-to-hand. -hand. It's just he's got a lot of arm. Oh, oh, am I out of? I am out of. Okay. Uh, I wasn't expecting to run out of ammo ammo quite that quick something bad is about to happen I'm, I'm either going to die from lag or oh oh please work for me what's going on okay with all this lag I'm going to go hide in the hole I, I'm, I'm not loving the fact that it's hung up for so long it probably means I'm going to be dead very shortly I'm going to just kind of hide here I mean if we break stuff yeah no you can see the lag is still outrageous okay it's maybe been a minute since he froze there uh i've not been able to pick up anything i think i'm gonna try a disconnect and reconnect oh this this is bad this is very very bad okay i'm gonna get in under here <gasps> it's all happening whatever's happening it just happened he's moving again okay i didn't actually get to disconnect and reconnect there did i pick everything up has everything been picked up maybe Maybe. So, two gar spawners. Uh, uh, sorry, two gas nests, but no spawners for the taking. That is unfortunate. I don't know why I keep pointing my gun at him. I haven't got any ammo. Uh, so, we're going to have to go regroup, get some more ammo, and think about how to come at this another way. How about you, sir? And now we hit one of the limitations of his programming. I haven't really told it what to do if it can't carry on going up. I only really considered ledges like this. <sighs> okay, well, we need a little bit of a rework, but he's on his way to getting it done right. Uh, how do we... Maybe we could just restart him, see what happens here. He's going to look underneath and compare it to Obsidian. He's going to get a no. Um, but then what's he going to do? It continues going up. Okay. So these were the gas nests that we were at last time. This is the one now, a little bit further west. I've made myself some regen potions. I don't think I need it quite yet. I'm trying to approach this and think about where is the best way to dig under it. I should imagine we can do this relatively quick, though. This is not our first rodeo. Uh, that creeper is going to be a little annoying. Uh, okay, this is bad, actually. This is really quite bad. Let's try and get down here. Uh, there we go. Safe. Okay, now where do we go from here? Uh, there is a bit somewhere. I just don't want to dig under it, you know? This is the main thing. I didn't figure out how deep to go this deep okay that's fine i dug down exactly the right amount now if we go through there is of course the central tnt okay that's good as well now we just kind of dig up the side and go and get ourselves a block hopefully you know what well, this is what we're here for let's get it and uh uh no no have we once again not got the thing that we're after ah uh, uh, not impressed not impressed so hideously unlucky this time okay the way out i'm gonna drink a potion of regen oh yeah and hopefully we should have enough oh no come on ammo to deal with all this well, it's a good little hidey hole to start fighting from. Now, let's see if we can't dig up and through. There's always one that gets caught just in this gap here. That, that's fine. It means we can uh, have a proper go at killing him. Uh, and then there's another one here. Is my regen still in effect? Yes. Thank you, little fart bubbles. You told me what was going on. Okay, that's enough. Are these all one-shot one kills now? Uh, I'm going to wait for him to come down here. So that was that. I'm going to have to go find myself another spawner. 
So these Gar spawners are few and far between, but when you spot one on the map, you can be fairly sure there is more than one. Okay, this one here should be nice and simple just to crack in from the side, and then we've got another one over there. This is where we came and found the second crashed pod, the one that was like gave us tips and clues as to the destruction of the planet and how we needed to go grab ourselves the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, the missile codes. Okay, let's get down here like this. Okay, nice and deep, nice and quick. That is the way to do it. And hopefully we should, ooh, that's not good. Uh, hopefully we should be able to get under there and find the TNT. Oh, I love this bit. A uh, bit of a... Bit of a block there. There we go. I knew there'd be something somewhere. Ooh. These all... Yeah, these are all ghost blocks. Wow, okay, crazy. Let's go this way now. Oh, I knew I was down deep enough. So we want to clear all these guys out. And then get into the middle and clear that out. Brilliant, brilliant. Got this sorted now. Quite close to calling shenanigans on this broken spawner business. Oh, wow. That's three, four in a row without getting a broken spawner. That is most unfortunate. Well, that's just massively inconvenient. I was uh, setting up for a time lapse. I came up to the side of this gas nest here. Uh, dug straight down because stupidly I thought I know what I, I knew what I was doing. But then whilst digging towards the obsidian TNT, realised that I had not gone deep enough. Dropped something on a pressure plate and then, wow. Things happen from that point, don't they? You try and dig yourself out of a wall, you realise you can't get far enough, all your stuff gets blown up. So I'm going to have to go home and re -get, uh, remake all of my equipment. I mean, literally all of my equipment, which is a little annoying because I just upgraded some of the armours to Empowered Level 3. Boom. So I'm going to have a bit of an explore on my way back. Oh. What's happened to my map? Oh, I'm going to try and fix this as well.
so 12, 12 gas spawners later, we have managed to get ourselves four broken spawners, 54 bits of obsidian TNT. In fact, there is more in a chest because I came back halfway through and dumped a whole load of stuff. I've upgraded my diamonds, my emeralds, more glowstone dust than I can deal with, uh, some enchantment books. Again, probably not ones I want to deal with, but I picked them up anyway. But we did all that so we could answer a quest. It would be a quest that I've not got lined up, of course. We are in the exploration side here. We have gone through and done the full of hot air we can ha oh oh i went round and got four and all i needed was one ah <laughs> all right well that was fun what are we gonna get here I, I i don't even know i'm just going to get the block oh no we got gold diamond i'm gonna get the diamond probably should have got the osmium now that i think about it but there we go with that ladies and gentlemen i am gonna say thank you very much for joining me for this Stress-inducing adventure, I suppose, would be the way we sum it up here. I managed to lose all my stuff. I've managed to go around and double the number of spawners. No, quadruple the number of spawners I needed. And next time, what we're going to do is go around and do the gas. You can see I picked up some potions of fire resistance. I said it again, didn't I? I'm going to go and get the blazes. <laughs> Uh, I've managed to pick up a whole load of potions of fire resistance. Well, one or two anyway, so that will help. Uh, we're also going to put out the last couple of villages, and that should actually be us. So I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!